Okay, hey, how y'all doing today? This is Daryl Gregg, this is Step On Down Line. I'm here with the famous Al Greer, radio personality. How you doing today? Pretty good, I bought you some. Man, this is a wonderful event that you're having here. I mean, you got all the stars here, you got the stylistics here, and who are, who are some of the other groups that you got here? Uh, we have the uh, the Shy Lights. We also have uh, Marshall Thompson of the Shy Lights, of course. Uh, we also have Reginald Torrey, who is uh, the singer of the group The Impressions. We okay. had Gene Chandler here, the group of Merle. Wow. Uh, Jerry Butler was supposed to appear, but uh, Mr. Butler has been a little ill, so he probably wasn't able to make it. gentleman who's been performing as long as I've been alive. Uh, as a matter of fact, the group has been together for about uh, more than 40 years. Uh, you probably know them from the hits, Oh Girl, Have You Seen Her? I Want to Pay You Back for Loving Me, Coldest Day of My Life. Uh, did I forget any? <laughs> I know, I, I, did I forget any song? Hot on the Thing. There you go. Give more power to the, thank you. Give more power to the people. The flip side of Have You Seen Her? Yes, I'm ready. You all to stand to your feet. Give him a standing ovation. My uncle, Mr. Marshall Thompson. Make some noise. Stand to your feet for Marshall Another round of applause for Marshall Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. Get over here. From the south side of Chicago, Shakespeare School, then we got to high school and we split up. We went to Inglewood High on School, DuSable High School, and High Park High School. And we got together, singing on the street corners, battling against each other. Just like you seen the Temptations movie. Been in the business for a long time. How long have you been in the business, Gus? <laughs> 
uh, over fifty, well, over fifty-five years. Me and Marshall been in the business. Uh, okay. You know, you, you know, I started with the Shaw Lights. You started with the Shaw Lights, man. Yeah, me and Marshall started. Me and Eugene Record, the leader of Shaw Lights, started started when we were seven years old. So I lived across the street from them on Sixty First and St. Lawrence. Okay. And I used to hear all this beautiful music because he played guitar and his okay. whole family played guitar. That's his, that their last name was Record. Okay. And 1887 is when his grandfather then came into music. Right. And Eugene Record is a, a product of this. Okay. He, he wrote Oh Girl and Have You Seen That. Of course, his biggest song uh, with Beyonce, Crazy Love, that's a Shaw Light song. Okay. Uh, December 7th, uh, Jay-Z song, that's a Shaw Light song. And of course, Hammer. You know, all, all right. these songs were Shaw Light songs. Wow, that, that is a great but, thing uh, to know. My ear. Heard Eugene when he was little, and I wanted to always hang with him. You know, tell my brother would go somewhere. I wanted to go there and stay with them so I could hear the music. And me and Gene, when Gene got to be about ten years old, mm -hmm. we were in grammar school. Hale Sexton, we claimed we were going to be real big in the record business. Wow. Uh, we then went to Inglewood High School, and my first record that I was part of was um, was. Uh, uh, Duke of Earl. Oh, Duke of Earl. Right. Yeah, he Gene just left. Yes, yeah, and, and uh, I was with Gene on the road for six years as his road manager. I took care of all the business, and and I was part of his record, which was with VJ Records, which was Vivian Carter. Okay. Who came by the Gary and Anna here. That was her label. Okay. How she moved from Gary, she moved to Chicago. Right. The same building that she had for VJ Records was the building that we came into, Brunswick Records. Okay. Which had. Gene Chandler, Tom Davis, Shaw Lights, Jackie Wilson, and all the groups that came out of Chicago. My group was called The Lost Generations. Okay. And I wrote the song Slice of the Wicked, which was my first me and solo record I wrote was in 1970. Oh, wow. Hey, that's it. the year I was born. Yeah, I wrote it, and then I went out and promoted it and, and made it number one record, because my experience is knowing how to break records because of going out on the road. And, okay. So I started with James Brown and with Dick Clark and, uh, I started Dr. Nia, so these are the people that gave us a chance for our records to blow up across the world. Okay, okay. That sounds real good. Um, what are some of the new current artists that you work with? The current artists, of course, the record is being played right there, Tia Williams. Uh, I'm part of uh, a manager, and, uh, me and his dad, Terry okay. uh, Williams. And also part owner of the record company that Taylor's on the Yiggy Marie. Okay. Um, King John, this is a beautiful thing. He's got a song that I don't know if y'all remember on the ocean. Okay, yeah, uh, I remember five, on the ocean. Five, seven years ago, that was big, so we've got a new, a new song on him now. Matter of fact, it's number one on this radio station here today. Wow. And uh, Yimmy's number two. Yeah, it's gonna take it all with her. I'm quite sure she's gonna get signed to Disney. Okay. When well, she's 18, she just made it, so I'm quite sure she'll be. So y'all look out for this artist, and once again, we're here with the legendary Gus Redman. He's been breaking records ever since he was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. I think he even broke his mother record when he was trying to play it. So we'll see you next week, and we'll get back at you. Thank you. Thank you. I saw you singing with Reginald Torrin from the Impressions. <laughs> that is so cool, that's, huh? That, 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 that's that, 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 that. And you know what they said? Uh, they didn't realize anybody played instruments in here. <laughs> what is that about? I don't know. But, you know, we're keeping music alive. Pick up an instrument, give one to a kid. Let's make it happen. I want to thank you on behalf of WLTH for supporting us. We can do some big things. Look forward. We got some news coming your way on some concerts we're going to be bringing. Isn't that right? All right, well, you have a great Saturday. Thank Thanks for giving us a part of it. Thank you. Thank All right, you're at 1370 WLTH. Man, big show. That you tried to date, but a year to make love, she wanted you to wait. Let me tell you a story of my situation. I was talking to this girl from the U.S. nation. <laughs> Uh, Smoking99.com from 9 a.m. to noon. Also, we do a show called Bedtime Stories, which is on SNR.us, which is an internet radio station as well as Smoking99.com. I do a show called Bedtime Stories, and that's from 9 p.m. until midnight, uh, Sunday through Thursday, along with my co host, Ms. Delicious Kim Bell, and my fiance, soon to be wife. Uh, make sure you check us out. Right. Well, check it out. This is Daryl Gray. To step on down line. I got one other question to ask you, Mr. Greer. Now, I got a new hot record coming out. Okay. It's called Step On Down the Line. Now, this is a 
Uh, it's been an amazing journey for me with this record. And uh, I've been doing a lot of club scenes. So I'm trying to step out the club and step on the charts. So, you know, I think I need you to help me break this record. You think you can help me do that? I'm pretty sure I can. You know when you're ready. In the air. Let's go. Action.